My name is Chris, and this is my car show. But it's not just any car show. There won't be any of this. Or this. Behind me is a DeLorean. Easily one of the most iconic sets of wheels come out of the last 50 years. It's a timeless machine made famous by America's greatest export, the movies. But I'm not here to drive this DeLorean. I'm here to drive this one. I was never a car guy to begin with until I saw the movie Back to the Future in 1985. It was then when I saw the DeLorean time machine. It was that car that I really, really wanted to get. My name is Lenny Hocktow, and I own a time machine. I wanted to get a car for my son for just a rental around the graduation time period. We took it for a test drive, and in 10 minutes, it just took me a couple of minutes to realize that's the car I want. So the salesman says, so what do you think? And I said, I'm gonna buy this car. And that's when I bought my first DeLorean. Uh, you wanna drive it, you instantly just wanna jump in and seat and drive it. Just sitting in the car, you realize it's iconic. And I drove it, I was just driving, we took 10 minutes to drive it, and I'm there driving the car, and I go, oh, this is great. So I knew that this was the car for me. I've driven a lot of cars, but this is, this is really something. I've never driven a DeLorean in my life. Now this is a 1981 DMC DeLorean with a V6 engine and 140 horsepower. 1980s, that may have seemed a little fast these days. It's a bit sluggish. You're not getting away in a rush. 88 miles an hour is not going to happen very quickly. But movie magic fixes all of that. So in the 1980s, if you wanted to buy a DeLorean, it would cost you about 21 grand, maybe 30 grand. These days, if you want your own DeLorean, it's going to cost you roughly the same, about 20 grand. If you want a time machine now, you're in about $20,000 for the car itself. Now for the conversion, you can pay anyone anywhere from $20,000 to $30,000 for all the pieces, and there's so many different options for you. The first movie had a plutonium chamber inside the back, uh, which personally is my favorite. I'm with Lenny on this one, he chose the right car. <laughs> It's a little cramped, but it's such a it's such a real part of the experience of driving this car is sitting in these close quarters, having this handle next to you, this thing in your viewpoint. You don't see much outside of the hood because there's nothing really sitting on the hood, but inside the car, you really are a part of what this time machine really is. A perfect tribute to one of the greatest movies that we've ever seen, Back to the Future. My son was born in February of 1985, so he was born around the same time the movie came out. He never forgot that movie. So it was that feeling of a dream. His dream, my dream. It made it come true. <laughs> as soon as I got my DeLorean, I had to plan something to surprise my son and my family. So basically I dressed up in the 1885 outfit, like in the movie Back to the Future Part 3 and I sent them a note telling them to be at a certain place in a certain time and I couldn't explain much else after that. I wound up coming to that restaurant there and then they all came outside and saw me and until it was at that moment is when everybody thought that, you know, this is dead, you're just renting a car. I go, no, I own that car now. 
So it was a family feeling and it was just a great experience. It's a lifetime experience. You could only do one time. I never thought I'd actually see one of these things like ever right. my entire life. I was just driving by and I was just like, oh my god. That's pretty cool. I built That's my new Facebook cover page. <laughs> I didn't just want a DeLorean, I wanted a DeLorean time machine. So I got a flux capacitor, which is what makes time tra travel possible. And I just kept it that way and I put new seats in. I realized then that it's so beautiful, I can't do anything more to it. I can't drill holes in it. It's a DeLorean, it's gonna stay a DeLorean. It's then when I realized that I'm gonna try to find another car to make it into a time machine. I wound up finding someone who lived in Ch outside Chicago and uh, that car's been sitting there for about 10, 11 years. When I got this DeLorean where it's been sitting for a very long time, I had to give it a new life. It took about five months, but when it came back, it was now a new life for her. She looks great, she drives great, and uh, I get so much more enjoyment driving now a DeLorean time machine. Every single time you get in this car, it's a unique experience. It has character, it has a life to it and a life that you can't get out of any other kind of car. It wasn't until I got this DeLorean time machine that I really felt that time travel is possible, whether it's in the mind or, or the real. And you get that connection that you feel that you can do more with this. Go where you want to go, be where you want to be, no matter what time it is. You're sitting in here and you are Marty McFly. You're running away from the Libyans. I don't care where you are, but you're always running away from Libyans because it just, it has that drama to it. There's a drama in this car that can't be replicated. Since I was never really a car guy to begin with, this, is, this didn't really turn me into a car guy. I just see it as I see it. It's a DeLorean, but the time machine, I also appreciate more of the movie version. And I, I just seeing that I'm not a car guy, but I'm a more of a movie car guy. This DeLorean is so much more than just a movie car. It's an opportunity to live your dream. I live my dream today. I watched Lenny live his dream. And that's what I want to share with you. We're going to see more movie cars and we're going to meet more people. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. Got it. Yeah.